everybody! It's been quite a while since I last actually recorded a Last Day on Earth video. And as you can tell by the title, the plan for today is just to show you a massive tip that is going to help you out so much in the Christmas season. So, as you can see, I've already got my amazingly fancy as... Don't swear. This is a child-friendly channel. My amazing fancy gingerbread thing. What is it called? Chopper skin. There we go. And unfortunately, my game sound has currently bugged out and I have absolutely no audio in the background. But that's a problem for a later date. I might just try and find some music somewhere and chuck it in the background. So for this, what we're trying to do is optimize and get the maximum amount of Christmas items you can get every 12 hours. So to do it, first thing you're going to want to do is go over to the Christmas Zone which is Nick Santee's chill out. And I've tested this. It does work every single time for everybody. I'd have other people to check it as well. Works completely fine for them. Right then, if we will load in, that would be lovely. Right then, once you get in, you're gonna want to just do the event as usual. So you run around, hello. I haven't actually bothered putting anything in here yet. What I want to do, oh yeah, this is how much stuff I have already from doing this. I've already um, obviously used all the Christmas lights and recycled a load of them to get uh, scrap as well, as you can tell by my 28 scrap. So what you're going to want to do is keep killing absolutely everything here. You can do it with a um, melee weapon, obviously, but I'm lazy and I've got a lot of guns and I'm running out of storage. So I'm going to yeah, just do it like this. Voila, voila, voila. And what are we going to get in the box? Also, for those that don't know, the people that are hunting for the letters, you can find a single letter in this zone. You get it in the back top right corner. So it's in the... I don't know, we'll go over there in a second. And you also get the final letter, letter number six, after you give all of the items to Nick Santee so he can finish off his truck, whatever he's doing with it. He's doing something over there. Not sure what. Right, we're just going to go around, collect... Absolutely all of this. Kill that. So the letter will be around here somewhere. And let's kill you. Oh, and also one other thing you can do to try and make... Well, it won't make any difference on this, but it will still make your life a lot easier. If you can get five of the baubles, you are going to want to head over to the laboratory and stick them on the tree. And if you're lucky, you will get a buff that increases the amount of holly you get per kill. So like a fast biter gives you six, something like that. I cleared out all of Punk Alpha and ended up with over a thousand Holly. I think, it, and then I used rations on a few places, and I think I ended up with something like 2,600 Holly, which I then just went and exchanged a load of for the um, boxes at the lab. Oh, you didn't give me anything. And now that is the zone completed. Right, that is the first step done. Then you're going to want to just leave. Literally, that's it, just leave. I really wish I had game sound. It's so weird recording without any. Strange times. What's the time? Also, I will be hosting my giveaway for the channel for the season premium pass plus 10 of the Christmas packs and 10 files of rare blueprints on Sunday at 2 p.m. GMT. That's 2 p.m. UK time. So after you've left, you're going to want to click on the zone. Now, as you can see, we still have the option to use rations there. Normally, for some reason, like for the bunker, etc., you cannot use rations after you've already cleared it out. So then you can just use rations on it three times and get a load of stuff. And voila! Boom. And we just got all of that stuff for free. Well, for free, it took rations. And here we are. So we got nine delicious rolls, four hot drinks, nine Christmas ribbons, five ornaments, two shards, three odd keys, six lights... And then we've got some Christmas cake and more lights. And then we just jump straight down into the factory. And once you are in the factory... Oh, I thought these would have reset by now. That's annoying. So, yeah, once you're in the factory, you can just go straight over here, recycle all your lights, swap them out. La -da 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 -da, get loads of this stuff. There we go. And we now have 36. And I think we should have a decent amount of holly as well. And if that will... Give me a box, please. It's taking its time. Voila! And oh, that's actually quite a lot of stuff in there. And you can just keep going. I found that normally, 
what happened to me? I did five of these in a row, and then I got five of the big boxes in a row straight afterwards. So I think it is best to store up the absolute maximum amount of holly you can, and then come back. And let's just delete that so the box goes away. So yeah, get the absolute max amount of holly you can, or until you get sick of grinding for holly, and then come down here and exchange all of it, because you only need, um, I think it's 200 every, 200 holly every two days to do the exchange things at the port, the deliveries for the Christmas packages. So you do not need to worry about saving the holly, you get it very fast. And as you can see, we have now gotten a ridiculous amount of this stuff. Because obviously autoing the area also gives you the Christmas things, the um, holly. Right, and final one. Boom. Now we have gotten quite a lot of stuff. Right, let's just go straight over to the tree. We want to get the buff that gives you more holly. Um, we've got an armor buff. We got more pine logs. More pine logs again. More iron. More XP. And more copper. That's disappointing. Oh, well, we tried. And then this box here. So the dispenser prototype, what this does is it will give you skins that you do not yet have. The only skins I am missing are this, this one here, the gingerbread skin, as well as a couple of the old backpacks. So... No reward in your inbox. Let's see what we got. Okay, it gave us 750 caps. That is not what I was expecting. So, apparently, if you have got all of the skins available, it just gives you a mountain of caps. That is nothing to complain about, I think. Right, yeah, unfortunately, we didn't get the Holly buff this time. However, we have temporarily got a buff for uh, copper ore, pine logs, iron ore, XP, and increased armor. So that's all absolutely lovely. Unfortunately, I don't really need any of those buffs. But hey-ho, we got a lot of caps. Right, that is it for the video. I hope you found this useful. If you got rations, use them up. This is the time to do it. Thanks for watching, people. Goodbye.